Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we finished exploring Aklis. So I want to head back to London, and while doing that, I want to explore. So I'm going to take a different route. I guess go over more this way, and then back to London. Do I have any prospects for places that I might actually be able to reach pretty quickly? Caduceus? Uh, yeah, so just Caduceus. East? Northeast. Well, that's not anywhere down here. Yeah, let's start to head back to London. Um, I'm going to fill up the rest of my hold space with this bronzewood, since it's a bargain. Let's actually read this, too. Most of Aklis is constructed from trees gathered in the marsh. They're soggy. They take time to dry. But while tactically not bronzewood, they're close enough to it that most Londoners can't tell. Today, the merchants have a surplus. Either they sell it, or it has to go back in the mud. Hmm, um, did I need to speak to the Incognito Princess about something? No, okay. Just checking. Just had a hunch I maybe needed to do that to continue their quest, but no. This place really is gorgeous. Stripper for repairs, it might hurt. Oh yeah, I'm actually missing two hole points. I didn't know that. Um, I don't really have much storage space, so yeah, I guess I'll get two points of hole. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice, the manatee. You enter homuncula littered with the wreckage of unwise engines. Homuncula. Homuncula. Am I unwise for going here as well? I'm, I'm scared. What's here? What's homuncula? Did I see a ship over here, like, on land? Wait, I'm sorry, what? Oh, no. Oh, it's just super dark up there and I can't see it. It's it's just, just on the border of this place. Scrape. This place has really cool music. I wonder if there's a port. Is Homuncula a port? Dementine Reach. At this point, I'm not even really going back to London. I'm just kind of wandering around places that look interesting. Oh, Candlewind. What's that over there? I saw something like pulsing. I thought. The scent of wax is heavy and heady, like curdled... Milk or sweat running down fresh meat and inflames the appetite and renders your night sleepless. Oh, look at that purple. My god, that purple storm. I 
I noticed that this place also looks a little bit darker on the map. Can't be an accident. Yeah, because like the entire rest of the map is that one color and then this is a little bit different. The stoker sings, a minute later they stop. Song seems unwelcome here in Karnas. Karnas? You know what, maybe these symbols, these night symbols, maybe means an Eleutherian mystery? I don't know. Whoops. Sorry, Homestead, I didn't mean to shoot a rocket at you. Oh, another blind hermitage. Mm. Yeah, whisper some secrets. A crimson promise and an Eletherian mystery and a little more. Yes. Oh, a lot of terror. 20 terror, Jesus. The hermit cups their hands beneath a gentle trickle of foul-smelling water. They drink. Even their, uh, then their words flow freely. They speak of the great charnel houses of Europe. How the eagle will fight the bear. How a clockwork god will fall. A whisper of your own future, too. Never intended for your ears. A warning of what you may become in the dark. What I may become in the dark. Hmm. Oh, that took seven savage secrets. But that's my first crimson promise. Yeah, that purple lightning is amazing looking. Maybe it's just the generic unknown symbol. But it's not a question mark, it's a dark... I guess because there's no light here. Wait, that's why? Oh, I just figured it out. It's because there's no light here, because the sun has decided to not give its light. That's why all these places are unknown, because I'm sending my scout out, but they can't see much. It's just like they saw something over there, you know, like a, a silhouette of something, but they're not sure what it is, because it's too dark. It all makes sense now. Also, there's more purple over there, and it's also like a little bit darker on the map. So I just need to, yeah, I just need to explore every one of those little things. Because who knows what they could be. I almost like hit that. I would have if it wasn't for the range. Ah, there we go. Yeah, for these enemies, this homing rocket is just bliss. Ah, Spinster's Pen. Yes, for the nature reserve. really close. Should I just go back? There's always something new to discover, though. Ah, let's go back.
Should I whisper more secrets? Hmm. I probably shouldn't because of the terror, if nothing else. Let's just observe the hermit. Well, that can be a ten terror. The hermit whispers to the darkness. They pay you no mind as you look at their few remaining possessions. A trading log from a place far away. A faded photo of a love last seen in old London. A diary that begins with scholarly descriptions of Eleutherian wonders and ends with nothing but scribbles of the same eye carved into their flesh. Telasco Heron entry is dated November 1886. Ugh. 1886. That's right around the time that we first came here. Yeah, scholarly descriptions of Eleutherian wonders. Must have been people that were sent out here and were investigating Eleutheria for the first time. God, I want to go check that out. I'm going to check it out. I'll check that out and then go to London. Your inadvisably big dog whines pitiably, afflicted by the dread that permeates your engine. This is Karnas, a place of vine-clad ruins. Did Pan once stretch this far? What edifice stood here in times past? None now know. Okay. Now back to London. We got a little bit of a of an unexplored patch, though, so I guess I'll keep going on the recording for now. Something down here? An enemy? I see a little mark pointing this direction. Oh, hello. Trying the new rocket out and see how easy it is to hit him. Oh my god, my terror is so freaking high. Oof. Uh, send out crewman with axe. Oh, 100% chance of success. Nice. Guaranteed bronzewood. Is there anything to reduce terror in London? I don't remember. Or not London, sorry, Pan. Oh, we got some lips up here. Something to crave. Oh, those are the, like, eel things. Can't scoop them up. Okay, back to Pan. The thing in the mist. A sudden jolt. I think we hit something, comrade, your driver observes. The mists are thick. You could turn back and search for it. Ah, this is one of those uh, terror events. With, as always, the offer to reduce terror by 50, but increase your nightmares. Hmm. I'm going to do it. Offer whatever it was to the Waste Wife. The Waste Wife occupies abandoned places. It's lonely, but spurns company. It likes toys. Failure? The Waste Wife is displeased with you. Shit. Trust no gifts, a superstitious stoker once remarked. If a thing crosses your path, offer it up. On this occasion, though, maybe the offering was not to the god's taste. You glimpse leviathan shapes moving through the fog. 
Ugh. Back at Pan, it seems to be the hour of trumpets when devils roam the streets. So what does that mean? Prisons are forbidden in Pan. Instead, those who aggrieve other citizens too persistently are branded with the calf sign. Then, during the hour of trumpets, the brazen brigade hunt. Their quarry is supposedly only those bearing the calf sign. But when the devil's blood is up, they don't always discriminate Confine your crew to quarters or spy on the hunt. Let's spy. Few have witnessed an infernal hunt. Few would want to. Perhaps that's what makes you special. 69% chance of success. Ah, failure. Oh, I lost one heart. Damn. Hunted. Devils do not hunt with hounds. How then did they get your scent? Can they, as some say, smell sin? Their trumpets scream, the hooves of their silver horses hammer like drums. Every door is closed to you, every window barred. You hide behind broken walls and in shadowed groves. Always they find you. By the time you make it back to your engine, you are ragged and bleeding. That night, and for many nights after, you hear trumpets. Damn. Okay, what is there to do here? Uh, let's fix up our hole. Oh. Oh shit, I just spent an Eltherian Mystery to repair half the damage on my hull. Oh god, which only healed me... I mean, half of the damage was... I don't know what I was at, but it was like, I don't know, three or four? Is all it healed me for an Eltherian Mystery? Oh, that was a terrible trade. I just went on autopilot. I was like, yeah, pay sovereigns, repair. Like everyone else here, the engineers want mysteries more than coins. You offer one that purchases several hours of perfunctory repairs, at the end of which the condition of your engine is at least somewhat improved. Afterwards, you split the mystery into a dozen morsels and dole them out amongst the avid engineers. Gained two whole for an Eleutherian mystery. <sighs> so that's all you can do is only repair half of it? Damn, so you can never just get it up to full. Right? Unless there's some other place to repair it. Oh yeah, we have the port reports. Ah, oh, we can trade them for Eleutherian Mysteries. I forgot about that. This convert your scraps of ancient knowledge to Eleutherian Mysteries. I have one scrap. Hmm. The scraps of ancient knowledge could have other uses, though. So I'm not going to do that. And I only have one scrap. But let's trade the port reports for mysteries. I only had one port report? Huh. Wait. Wait, I just delivered a crap ton of port reports. Are these for all the ones from all the other regions too? In a private audience, the rules in pan say that a story can only be told to one other person. You reveal your information to the king. In turn, they hint at Eleutheria's boundless secrets, to the reason the sun darkened, the nature of the war that was once fought here, to the ancient duties of the grievers and departed that now haunt the wilds. I haven't encountered a departed yet. Uh. Yeah, I don't understand why it looks like I delivered a million port reports, but I only got a hundred sovereigns and one mystery as if I delivered one? I mean, yeah, one makes sense, because I have only discovered Ackley's. Just popped over to Winter's Reside, because I thought I might have enough mysteries to join the faction, and I do. I needed three, and I have three. So, as I mentioned before, I'm definitely not joining the Brazen Brigade, the Devils, the ones that just hunted me, actually. That's an extra reason not to join them. I want to join the Heartcatchers, just out of pure curiosity, because they seem so bizarre. But Winters Reside and the Calendar Council, the Revolutionaries, those are definitely Elizabeth's kind of people. Although somebody did say that they're related to the, uh, the, uh, what was it called? I think I can see here. Something Night? Um, Liberation of Night. Yeah, the, the cult. Or maybe it isn't a cult. But Elizabeth thought they were a cult at the time when they were tried to, uh, be recruited into it when they were younger. Who would you be in the dark? Hmm. 
Yeah, so if they're related to the liberation of night, then... Well, Elizabeth is very interested in the suns and doesn't like them. And the idea of whatever the hell it is these people want to do exactly, kill the suns, stop the suns, I don't know what. But the idea of fighting against that is attractive to Elizabeth, although she is very wary. But let's accept an offer to join the revolutionaries. You are ushered through the door of Concrete House. There is only one door available to you, leading into the front room. A burly revolutionary blocking the hallways prevents you from going anywhere else. The room is sparsely decorated. It has shelves lined with well-read books. By the window, a woman in mourning attire sits working at a desk. There are no chairs but the one she sits upon. Season's Greetings The dour woman nods when you're introduced. She does not offer her own name. We have identified three who have been more put upon than most. They have been treated callously. She considers you carefully. If you join us working for the Calendar Council, you must deliver these. Three envelopes sit upon the desk. I can refuse for now. This will cost me an Eleutherian mystery. The thing is, I don't actually have any Eleutherian mysteries, so I don't think it would. Okay, fine. If the council wishes you to play postman, so be it. Their banal task always conceals labyrinthian motives. She doesn't smile, but her frown softens. She passes you the first two envelopes. Deliver these cards first. The recipients need to know they're not alone. She gives you the third one. I think this person has the resolve to last a little longer. They can wait. She returns to writing. A revolutionary enters to see you out. You've been asked to deliver Christmas cards to Polmier and Plenty's and to London. Oh. Well, that's going to be a while. So is there anything else I can do with them now that I'm kind of part of them? Well, no, actually. I can't. To join, I have to do that, so I haven't actually joined yet. Yeah. Uh, let's mingle with the revolutionaries. Gain a sky story and a tale of terror. A bound and gagged man in resplendent but tattered attire is marched to a house with barred windows. Two revolutionaries follow, their faces covered by dark masks. The others draw back as they pass. Let's do some more exploring now. So I have a prospect to deliver five jumbles of souls to Caduceus. Um, have I read this before? I think I have, yeah. Yeah, crave quantity over quality. Caduceus lies to the east, northeast of Pan, so it should be like here-ish. Let's go explore. I got the souls and a bunch of fuel and supplies on board. Oh. Hello. Surprised to see you so close. Oh, they're different. They're more powerful. Maybe they're the... Was it the Grievers? Or the Devourers? Damn, they're a lot more powerful. Senior, oh no, just Senior Scrivener. Oh no, shit. Come on, come on. Fuck. Ah. Well, that hurt. Senior Scrivener slaughtered. Once the senior Scrivener was an ancient servitor servitor of the stars, feared among even its own kind. 
Now it is broken and hangs haphazardly in the sky like a puppet whose strings have been cut. Exchange scraps of ancient knowledge for a searing enigma. Takes... Oh, you need seven of them. Wow. So if I try to gain bronze wood, will I get more bronze wood than normal? Problem is I don't have the storage space, but it's fine. I can just throw out a fuel and buy more. Yeah, three bronze wood. Um, lambent mist complicates the endeavor, but eventually your expedition returns with a haul of logs. The wood of a senior scrivener is prized. It is said her renewed majesty insists on writing with pens fashioned from it. Oh, wait. I can't get repaired, can I? Because I don't have any Eleutherian mysteries. Uh-oh. Right? Not there. Yeah, I, I need to get repaired at least somewhat, so... Um, I'm going to exchange a scrap of ancient knowledge for Eleutherian mysteries. The king leans close in case of eaves eavesdroppers among the trees. Once, it is said, there was a great library where the sons kept records of their laws. But disaster struck and the library was destroyed and strewn across the sky. Now its librarians seek its ruins and texts. We call them scribe spinsters. The king reveals such information as they can translate from the fragments you have brought. A library where the sons kept records of their laws. God, I would love to read that. By read that, I mean read the books in that library. Well, gain 25 whole. That's something. Feels really bad to go out exploring without a fully, fully repaired hole. Okay, uh... Oh, I need to drop off some stuff. Right, these three things. Okay, and back out. Just the whole side of a building. These are the ruins of Perturbia, haunted by those driven mad in the skies. Serious haunted graveyard music. I don't remember if ports show up as ports or just these what is it little icons. That's straight east, so that can't be the port. No, I'm gonna ignore it. hear something. What is that? I want to check it out. Sounds like it's coming from down here. That sounds real bad. Hmm. 
wait. Is that another well? I think it's another well. Could that be Old Tom's well? Or was it Old Tom? No, that was the original one we found. The, the wolf well? I know I need to go there for the repentant devil. Right? The well of the wolf. Ask him about the well of the wolf. Have we done that before? Um, there is a friend, a colleague, from the earliest part of my life. She died, as far as I know, in the fighting before the devils went to Caduceus and escaped the judgments. But that was then. If she is less dead now, I would expect to find her at the well of the wolf. She always did have a taste for dramatic protests. He looks un unapproachably morose for a few minutes, then adds, I have no taste for places that celebrate defeat, but I will go where I must. Well, it doesn't mention Caduce Caduceus, which we should be quite near here. <clears throat> should I go into it? Sure. What could go wrong? Okay, hold on, actually, there's a griever over here. Let's take that out first. Oh, strip its hide to repair your hole. Yes. Nine hole. Oh, what is all that in the center? Well of Wonders, so that's not it. Hmm. So there's probably a dead sun at the bottom of this well, right? Just like the other one? A well seed used by a messenger, probably, to kill yet another sun, I would assume. Let me just grab this real quick. The Clockbreaker. Stripper for repairs, yes. Almost full. Let's circumnavigate the Well of Wonders. I swear I hear voices. Oh, it even has a swirl on the map. I just saw something peeking through right here. Oh, oh, fuck. Damn, that's a big explosion. Oh, look at all those uh, sigils coming out from the explosion. I saw this back in Albion, but I, I only encountered him when I had the other ship. I was too scared to fight him with that thing. A scorn fluke defeated. The gelatinous flesh spasms. The broken spines rattle. Plural, spines. Its piping grows doleful. The fluke is dying. Oh, I think when it says spines, it means like the, like the, 
uh, quills or whatever, like the spine shooting out of it, not literally like bone spine. Tear off a trophy or investigate or take it to repair my hole or create the wrath of heaven. This will give you a large weapon that you can equip while in dock or sell to an equipment shot shop. Okay. Unlocked when nightmares is awful. <laughs> um, what level is that? The first level is disquieting. I, I'm not sure how far you have to get for it to be awful. Judging by the name, probably three or four. That's fascinating. Really curious what that weapon would be. Um, let's investigate this corn fluke. Unlocked when commingling of choirs is, you have heard the last song of a scorn fluke. Drag the remnants of its victims off its spines, collect their shattered treasures. This will grant an otherworldly artifact, or otherworldly artifacts, and gain you insight into scorn flukes. 72% chance of success. Yes. Its unhuman music rages and sobs. The polyphonic scream brings your crew to shuddering tears. Discipline keeps them working. They're careful to maintain distance from the oozing gray exudate. In abrupt silence, the remains liquefy and dissipate. Any artifacts remaining are too tainted to gather. You now have five commingling of choirs. You have felt a scorn fluke's tormented musics. Two otherworldly artifacts. Fascinating. So I can gain more commingling of choirs and understand them better. I want to encounter more of them then. Um. So am I still going into this well? I guess. I'm scared, but curious. It's so dark here, isn't it? It's almost like a void. Oh, fuck. Another one. I didn't... Oh, it did do something. Blow that one fast enough. Where did it go? I feel very uncomfortable here because it's so dark and I don't know if I'm like just about to touch the well or what. Christ, is it hard to see. Where did that flute go? Oh. I'm assuming that's the same one. seen that attack before. Shit. I thought I was far enough away from it. Oh, I 
think that's it. Yes. Thank God I have this weapon where I can keep my distance. Otherwise, if I had to get close to that thing... Whew. Um... Yeah, uh, commune with this corn fluke. Reach through its spines to touch its flesh. Croon assurances to it. You may be a while. You'd best take supplies. That's fine. Takes one supplies. As you commune with this corn fluke, you will learn about it. As your knowledge increases, the options available will change. Psychotropic gases. You perch precariously on the edge of the vast eye. The fluke quakes. Its flesh ruptures, releasing spurts of caustic vapors. This close, your sky suit cannot entirely protect you. When you finish coughing, the dizziness is overwhelming. You can smell the fluke's dying wishes, are ravaged by its regrets. The search it leaves incomplete, its fear that the search is impossible and will never end. The jagged excruciating recollections of being outcast, and the certainty that only the outcast have a chance of success. Eventually, an engineer works their way from your engine to help you back. Once you're through the external hatch, a stoker wordlessly passes you a cup of tea. <laughs> Thank you. Gained one commingling of choirs, you now have six. Three visions of heavens. Yeah, so many things that I encounter are searching for something. Like, they have very well-defined purposes and goals. Like the Grievers, right? Those are trying to, uh... They're trying to put things back into their proper place. And eat distance, I think is how it was put. And then the Verdant uh, spores and all that. That were released out from Mother or whatever you call that thing. They were trying to gather information. And yeah, they're searching for something. The search it leaves incomplete. The search is impossible, never end. Excruciating recollection of being outcast. And the certainty that only the outcast have a chance of success. What are they searching for and why? Okay, we're going in. 